<laughs> Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. In today's video, I wanted to talk about the Don't Say Gay Bill, Gil, Don't Say Gay Bill, and how theme parks are responding to it, and Disney in particular. So, this is yesterday from WDW and Today. As reportedly told not to wear the pride pins in support of walkout. <laughs> Bob Chapek had a town hall with um, cast members that didn't go very well um, about the walkout, about inclusive inclusivity, and Bob Chapek in general is just not handling this, handling this situation very well. But and they and he definitely should, and obviously, yeah, definitely should have handled the situation better. That article came about Bob Chapek and Bob Iger having a falling out. Um, a lot of bad things happening in the PR department and just upper level positions of Disney. Um, unfortunately, because again, Disney's a fantastic company with fantastic theme parks. Bob Chapek is just not the right leader, I believe, for this company. Uh, sure. They've gotten some unfair criticism, criticism in the past, but I mean, just seems like week after week, story after story um, about Bob Chapek comes out, and it's just, it's just, it's never like, never a good one, really. It really is never a good one. And it's all, it's not really from the same people, it's from all different types of people cast members, Hollywood executives, movie studios, movie theaters. I don't know. And now, of course, Disney Parks fans just never, it's like week after week, and it's never a good one, uh, unfortunately. But Disney is the leader, so of course, a leader, theme park industry leader, so of course, they're going to get all, the, they're going to get all the flack, you know, by, uh, yeah, they're, they're going to get all the flack by, um, because they're the, they're the big dogs, right? They're the big dogs. They, the one everyone looks at for industry leading examples, for example, the lightning lane, right? Individual lightning lane that attract that concept came to Disney parks, and not too long after, Six Flags Magic Mountain impl implemented its own lightning lane or Flash Pass Plus, where you can pay a uh, one price to go on one ride, and not instead of buying the whole Flash Pass, then that concept never would have came out really. But unless Disney did it, or it maybe would have, but it came out right after Disney did it, so Disney again was the leader in that. For better or for worse, for better or for worse, Disney does invent new things, really, and the theme park space and, and movie space and all types of things. You know, the thirty day window, the direct Disney Plus, all that good stuff. And yeah, um, some of those are Bob Iger's ideas, some of those are Bob Chapek's ideas, some good, some bad. But the real important part is that. Um, Important political issues. Bob Iger was a, a political. Is a political. He publicly announced his political positions. Right. He almost ran for president. He suggested, though, that the "Don't Say Gay" bill. Uh, he denounced it weeks ago. Weeks ago, and he's of course he retired at the end of December. So he's just a regular guy. This well, not a regular guy, but he's just a guy. He's not working for anyone. He's retired. But even but anything he does still will be really kind of. Closely tied to Disney because he like is Disney, right? He's been running the company for 15 years, or been a part of Disney at least for 15 years. No, no, it's been CEO for yeah. Um, so he's like kind of like people still see him as Disney, right? Bob Chapex, can you believe it? By the way, Bob Chapex's contract expires. He had a three-year contract expires in 2023. That's fast. I mean, sure, three years is a small amount of time, but Wow, it's already expiring next year. Real question is, will it get renewed? And maybe I'll have to make a separate video about about that. But um, yeah. Anyway, Chapek likes to kind of keep his keep it close to the books, right? He doesn't want to get much publicly uh, say what he believes in and politically. Kind of, I think maybe wants to play like Switzerland and kind of just wanna wants to wants to keep the parks and Disney stuff in the public and other stuff like that and the um and in 
behind the scenes. And it was reported that he wanted, was trying to get Florida, trying to denounce, denounce the bill or do something with Florida internally. Obviously, didn't work out. And all the while, of course, the Disney fans were, and everyone, even major news outlets were like, what's going on? Come on, Disney uh, cast members, like, why are you not denouncing this? And he finally denounced it. He had a town hall and didn't work. Now they're going to do an employee walkout tomorrow. Now, on Bob Chapek, Bob Chapek himself, if he is going to do an employee walkout, or if they're going to do an employee, employee walkout and he really supports the bill, he certainly should allow Disneyland cast members to, and anyone, part any Disney cast member, right, and actually any person, to wear the Disney Pride pin, right? Because they're mostly going to be LG, mostly, I'd say, LGBTQ plus members. And the walkout, sure, there'll be friends or just ran other people supporting, but they'll mostly be of that community. So why won't they? It's pretty stupid not to allow them to show their pride. Um, especially if you really do support the don't say gay bill. Um, again, just another silly decision. Uh, and I think another, he's still trying to keep the politics out of it, uh, down to all the way to his frontline employees. Let me tell you, keeps that up. Then hope we have a hard time staffing people again, because I'm sure a lot of them will find other jobs because you can still find some pretty high paying other jobs that are comparable or even high paying, higher paying than Disney, certainly here in Anaheim and Southern California. So these people don't have to work at Disney. They just, they love working at Disney. So mom, take back, better watch out because when you lose people like that and you look how long it took to hire enough people for like shows for Fantasmic and parades and stuff. If those people, are, if some of those people or even a lot of those people are part of the community, the LGBT plus community, or even just support it, and they feel like, you know, I can't work at Disney because they're not, they're not really, they say they don't support the Don't Say Gay Bill, but they're not really supporting it. Really, they're really not, they're really supporting it because they're not, you know, not allowing us to wear pins, not allowing my friends to wear pins or part of the community to wear pins. You know, they may walk out and say, lose all these cast members. Then all of a sudden, let's say the April 22nd, Reopening of Fantas or um, Main Street Electoral Parade. I'm trying to think of things that require a lot of cast members. And that's of the April twenty second. That is the only little thing that could get pushed back, right? Fantasmic could be get pushed back. But even that's not really not even, not even about that. It's just really about come on, your these cast members are putting in all this. They're making the magic happen. And they're they're working for you, and you just, you can't even have their back. I mean, it's not even like one or two people as part of the community. I mean, it's thousands out of the entire workforce in the United States and around the world, really, out of all the Disney parks and not just parks, but movies, right? Um, uh, the Disney stores that are are closing, but there's they still visit. There's a lot of those. There's a lot. Of, of uh, people in that community there. Um, so in all, it's all over the Disney brand, ABC, ESPN, you know, all their verticals, there are LGBTQ plus members. Uh, so you gotta have their back, you know, you really gotta have their back unless you really don't believe in it, in which case then you probably shouldn't be CEO of a pretty diverse company who is pushing for that. That's another thing. They're pushing for inclusive inclusivity. And Splash Mountain to Tiana. You know, the Redhead and Pirates of the Caribbean. You know, so does Bob Chapek really believe? Oh, actually, I guess that stuff is started, started under Bob Iger, some of it. But is Bob, is Bob Chapek? Well, Bob Chapek was head of parks. Anyway, the real question is, does Bob Chapek believe all that stuff? Or is he just doing it just to be woke or as Fox called woke Disney or whatever, you know, you know, do what you believe in. If you don't believe in all that stuff and your major fan base does, then you probably shouldn't be CEO of the company. So that's my Bob Chapek rant. I just think he handled the whole thing terribly, in my opinion, absolutely terribly. Uh, maybe he can improve next time, but he's been handling, I feel like a lot of things terribly. Um, 
not everything, but a lot of things. And this might be just the icing on the cake because the stock, even with uh, parks, the revenue for parks doing well, Disney Plus subscribers are doing pretty okay. Stock's pretty low. Why? Because of bad PR, probably. Lightning Lane, people don't like Genie Plus, Lightning Lane, you know, this, you know. Uh, so you can announce all the new fancy new stuff for the parks and stuff. But, and have awesome billion dollar movies and great movies coming out. But if you don't support your, your cast members, right, and you impact the guest experience on, on theme park, in your theme parks, uh, People are not going to come and spend all the money you want eventually. And if they get bad PR, that those record profits won't be so record anymore. And then the stock will continue to tumble. Now, like I said, Disney is a leader, right? They're a leader in this stuff. But that doesn't mean the other theme park chains have to stay quiet. Looking at you, all of them. And I say all of them because, sure, Six Flags doesn't have a park in Florida, but they have a park in Texas, and Texas has an equally, you know, if he, or not, if he, it's actually a pretty bad law, not about, don't say gay, but like abortions and, and stuff about, really bad stuff about what parents can tell their kids and what not to teach. It's just, it's really bad. Um, you, um, Disney Universal, everyone here, we're all one big community. You know, sure, there's some infighting. And sure, the major theme park companies like to maybe poke fun at each other or have some friendly or maybe not so friendly competition. But in the end, if something really big happens, I fully believe the whole theme park community, whether they have a theme park in that state or not, should come together. Case in point, Cedar Fair, Knott's Bay Farm, Six Flags, SeaWorld, Disney, and Universal all came together against Governor Newsom in California when they all signed that thing to make the, all signed the petition and uh, letter to make the parks, have the parks reopen again. Right? They all came together. It's not often that everyone all comes together, but they should, they should make it a more often thing and bigger things like this. So, for example, sure, in Florida, or the Don't Say Gay Bill is, yeah, Disney, Universal, SeaWorld, and that's it, because Bush Gardens is SeaWorld and Merlin, uh, Legoland. But you should, they should all come together, but even more so, Six Flags and Cedar Fair, even though they don't have a park there, you know, you gotta all you gotta have each other's back. Six Flags, Cedar Fair, every single major theme park company in Merlin, and again, Disney Universal. Sea World should all come together like they did with California and reopening theme parks, and all, all of them denounced the Don't Say Gay Bill. All of them don't stay silent. Don't be like, ah, I don't have a theme park in Florida. Shoot, I don't have a theme park. Cedar Fair doesn't even have a theme park in Texas, I don't believe, or Florida. So they, but still, that shouldn't mean they should be like, ah, I don't have a theme park there. It don't matter. No, should all come together, write a letter like they did with California and I'll say hey DeSantis I don't like this is not good we will pull out our our employees or we will not even think about doing business with you ever like Cedar Fair will ever open a theme park there or buy an existing one or six times won't ever go into that market if they do this something like that I don't know I feel like they should again all come together as a group because that, that was really cool I must say when Newsom kept the parks closed, and they're like, when are they going to have the theme park guidelines, and the Universal made that awesome, hilarious tweet about the little sleeping giant, like, oh, where are the theme park guidelines, and went back to sleep, that was hilarious, they should all come together like that more often, and sure, still have that cool, friendly competition thing, but when, it, when issues come to, when they're big issues like this, they should really, um, all come together like that, you know, not just Disney, and again, so everyone, you know, Disney's a big dog, so Disney should get a lot of hate, because they're the big dog, but other places should get, if they hate too, right, Universal, I love Universal, you know me, I make lots of Universal videos, I love Disney, Disney Disneyland's my favorite theme park ever, you know, even above Universal, you know, I love both companies, I love all companies, 
and they all shouldn't make so they should all you know denounce the get bill together whether they have a theme park there or not and one last thing about disney california office is very progressive and inclusive and diverse right so disney should not i agree if they don't want to if they're gonna do the don't say gay bill newsom was right on this one when he said you can bring those jobs back here disney should double down on that if you're gonna do the don't say gay bill and not be say oh woke disney kind of insult disney cool cancel the lake nona campus or sh- shrink it bring those imagining jobs back here well, where, the, again, there are a lot of LGBTQ plus members in there, in that group, bring them here. Why would you make someone uh, travel to a, a place they just basically just, they don't feel safe? You don't feel safe based on that bill, right? If I were just to bring all the imagining jobs back here, and I'd even actually bring more jobs. I had anything that was planned in Lake Nona, I'd build Lake Nona here, right? Right here. You know? And if I were Newsom, I'd offer some tax incentive to build it here in Burbank or Palm Desert. There's a lot of land. Uh, I can demolish some old stuff and build some stuff, you know, in Burbank, Land of Summer in Southern California, right? Build Lake Nona over here. You know? Not just save those 2,000 jobs that were leaving, but maybe maybe have a net gain of 2,000 jobs with 4,000 jobs came here, right? Because LGP, LGBTQ, oh my gosh, so many letters, I really feel like I mess it up. But members of that community that's in Florida, if they want to move over here because they don't they don't feel safe. Not everyone in Florida supports the thing or doesn't support it, right? You can this is to be an opportunity for Newsom here. So and he kind of started with saying Disney bring the jobs back here. But if he doubles down that. No, offering like a some incentive, like a tax incentive or something. Bring them up. This would be a a chance for state of California to for once to gain some jobs instead of losing them, which would be great. And for a good cause, you'd literally be potentially saving a couple thousand Floridians of you know harassment, sexual harassment, abuse, verbal abuse, uh, and anything from this don't say gay bill. But uh, yeah, so that's my last thing on on Chapek there, and Disney. But my main thing, my main two points for this video were one, Chapek got to do better, got to do better. Two, rest of the theme parks got to do better. You got to all come together. That was like I, it was really cool to see all those theme parks, all the companies come together um, against an issue um, because that really, rarely, if ever, ever, really, if ever happens. So it's nice to see it happen um, that one time. And hopefully, I really hope it happens on more issues, you know, more issues uh, just in general, because we're all one big community and we can't forget that, right? We're all one big theme park community. The companies, they all feed off each other, right? It's likely that someone goes to Disney, also goes to Universal at least once, Six Flags, Cedar Fair, Legoland, it's likely they go to check out all the places. You know? The park, the previous park president of Six Flags said he go, takes his kids to Disneyland, Disneyland all the time, right? If, if, if he hated Disneyland, he would never go there. Even, even if he wouldn't take his kids there. He'd train them to hate Disney too, but he loves Disney. He takes his kids all there all the time. He also loves Six Flags because he's the park president of it. He wants to see it do better. So again, we're all one community. We should act like one community. Uh, you can you Diz Twitter. Stop fighting against each other. All right? No point in fighting on Twitter all the time. Let's all come together. And instead of using energy to fight, let's all come together and and make some make an actual change. It's one massive, massive million strong, million strong theme park community. That is it for my big 20-minute rant. On this topic, I definitely feel like I had to say something, especially because the, today they're walking out. Um, the, by the time this was posted, it'll be the day, Tuesday, March 22nd, they're doing the walkout. So I fully support you, Disney cast members, and anyone who, who joins them. 
and I'm walking out and I say, go ahead, wear your pride pins. Even if you get fired, wear those pride pins. But don't let them tell you what you can and can't wear, uh, especially because that is, you're walking out for that reason. So that's just quite stupid if they don't say, if you say you can't wear that stuff. If you like this video, press the thumbs up button. Stay tuned for more theme park updates. Um, there most likely will, will be a Super Nintendo update coming today. As always, have a fantastic day. Subscribe for more theme park updates. Love you all.